a local's guide to Hampstead, New Hampshire. That's what I'm going to share with you today. If you're looking for inside information on New Hampshire from someone who has lived here her entire life, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Jen Baer, the Waltzing Real Estate Agent on the Dolloff team with eXp Realty. Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 of Hampstead. This is a great way to get to know these small towns here in New Hampshire. And I'm also going to include a little driving tour past each one, so if you are planning on coming to visit, you'll know exactly what to look for. If you are already familiar with Hampstead and you think I've missed something, please comment below. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a secret on how I learn about these towns. It's a secret I share with all my clients when they're interested in buying a house here in a town that they're just not familiar with. Let's get started. This local guide will be available as a link below. First, we're going to be going to the Honeybee Haven Country Gibson Moor and the English Muffin. Starting at Town Hall on Main Street, right across the street is the English Muffin. Next to that, to the left, is Honeybee Haven Gift Shop. We are going to continue heading south here on Main Street, passing what locals call Sign Island. It now turns into Stage Road. As we continue south, we are going to next see the Hampstead Town Forest. This video is sped up, I am not driving this fast. This is also considered Route 121. That's the highway department on the right. And then shortly after that is the entrance to the town forest from Stage Road. There's also an entrance on West Road. Continuing south towards Route 111, we are next going to see the library. That is the intersection with Route 111, but we're gonna turn right here. And the building at the very end of this road is the Hampstead Public Library. We're now going to go back onto Stage Road to continue heading south to see the vineyard and a dessert shop. This is now crossing Route 111. There's a gas station on your right, and then coming up here on the left is the Sweet Baby Vineyard. They have a tasting room, and I didn't get it in this video, but there are vines back there and you can drink outside. Here is my favorite chocolate, a dessert shop, on a plaza that's to the right just south of the vineyard. We're going to go back onto Stage Road towards 111 to go see Beantown Coffee House. This is a plaza just off Route 111. There's a butcher shop and then there's Beantown. This is what the plaza looks like coming out and that's Route 111. We're going to take a right and head east. Our next stop is for dinner and drinks at Jameson's Restaurant. Back on Route 111, we take a left into the Village Square. There are a number of businesses in this plaza, but the building with the brick facade is Jameson's, and they have a dining environment for everyone. There's outdoor seating, there's a function room, there's an intimate dining room, and a bar. Continuing east on 111, our next stop is the Obereasy Diner. This is another plaza that you can take a left into, and it has the liquor store, a salon, there's even a Chinese restaurant, but right at the corner is the Obereasy Diner. Continuing east on Route 111, we enter East Hampstead, and we're gonna take a right onto Route 121A, which is East Main Street, in order to go to the Pasta Loft restaurant on your right here. They have outdoor seating, great food, and of course, live music. We're gonna to have to turn around now to head back towards Hampstead in order to go to the Depot Field Park. We are on Depot Road, turning into the Depot Road Field Park. This area is the largest recreational area in Hampstead. It has two baseball diamonds, a large field for activities, including soccer. There's a covered picnic table area, as well as a playground. Last but surely not least is where to stay in town, and that is at the Still Meadow Bed and Breakfast. We are gonna go back on Main Street, passing the Rockingham Recreational Trail on the old Stagecoach Scenic Byway, and on our left is going to be Still Meadow. It's in an 1850s Italianate style colonial home. If you're interested in learning more about Hampstead, like its town policies, the school district, maybe even some more local businesses and real estate, check out the link below for a website I created just for Hampstead. Now it's time for me to share with you my secret on how I learn about these towns, and it's free and it's Facebook. <laughs> so most towns here in New Hampshire have a community page that's run by community members. You can go ahead and find the page by putting in the town with the word community next to it, so Hampstead Community or Atkinson Community. Once you find the group, ask to join. If they ask if you're already a resident, you can go ahead and put that you're interested in purchasing a property and you wanna learn about the town, and usually that's enough to get in. And once you're there, you can use the search tool to search for anything. Uh, you can put in pizza places or pet sitting or even the name of the local school and any posts that have ever come up using those words will show up and you'll be able to see going back years what people have written about that. And once you've decided not to live there you can easily leave the group and that way you're not going to get updates on a town you don't even live in. 
If you found this information helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to know when I post my next local guide, just hit the subscribe and notification bell. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Hustle on my friends and I'll see you next time.